put it on eco mode if you want to change your uh, run time. They give you a slightly less RPM, but quite a bit more run time. I like that. new nail strike. It's a product that's designed to hit up 30 nails and still survive and continue to drill into wood. So what we have here is a fully threaded tip that allows you to pull through the wood really quickly, which is great if you're doing overhead drilling. It's easier on your shoulder. It also has two cutting edges on the top to drive through the nail, and it has a really robust body so that it can withstand the nail strikes. It also has a curved, curved paddle, which will pull all the debris out of the wood as you drill to make it even faster. When you go through a nail, you want to make sure you're always in low speed mode. That gives you the torque you need to get through the nail and for the bit to survive. Ready? There's the nail. Bosch X-Lock safety. Let's go ahead and snap a disc in. Snapped in, ready to go, fire up the grinder. Wire wheels are dangerous. The switch does not operate while the grinder is running. You can accidentally bump it, do nothing.
Once the wire wheel stops or any disc, you can then pop it out and remove it. If you look at the two prongs here when I turn the grinder on, centrifugal force will sling them open and keep your wheel or disc locked in. Locked in. Now you have to open it up, unlock it. Same thing for any disc. So Bosk has thought, thought about safety and that in order to remove the disc, you have to have the grinder off. Corded or cordless with X-Lock. Makita's coming out with X-Lock next. Who knows what other platform would be. Five different manufacturers are making X-Lock accessories in 2020. This is the future, and Bosch has thought it out. And I always keep, I keep my finger on here, it makes it easier to pivot. And I'll just bring it into that edge, into that corner right there. Bring it over there. And on, on this router, I will spin it. And as you, the ground based router, you don't need to spin it. But if you look, if you don't, it's not even dangerous when I put my finger. And people might say, well, I can't see the blade. I never needed to see the blade. I could feel it, That's right? What the bearings for. Yeah, exactly. That's what that bearings for on the end there. See, the problem is our two by six columns are laminated engineered columns that are cut down and milled to five and three eighths versus traditional lumber at five and a half. So when we run our lumber through, we want it to be nice and plain. Greg, now I know why people like to be woodworkers on Instagram. They get to play with planers and stuff like that. The new 20 volt cutoff tool with the power stack. Let's see how it does. Wow. <laughs> That's actually really impressive. Of course, we got the forwards and reverse switch to change the position of the blade. Allen wrench up top. 
and your bright LED down below.